I'm so sorry, Blair. I couldn't let him get too close. I couldn't let him figure out what I'd done. So? How does it feel to be completely exonerated? Tree shopping now. Just looking at this makes it all so real. Come on, we have to go buy a Christmas tree, all right? You can't think about this right now. We have to keep it together for the kids. Come on, all right. let's go. All right, all right. Mika, what kind of Christmas tree do you want to buy? Because... How can you even think about that today? This is why the kids were talking about it at school. I'm sorry you had to hear that. I'm sorry Uncle Tomas confessed to killing Dad. It can't be true. You're really good at sneaking up on people, aren't you? What's wrong? I'm really surprised that Doug Otto turned out to be the killer. So was I. I didn't get a chance to see Mom this morning, but I'm sure she's so upset about it. Danny was at school, so I didn't get to talk to her, and Taya wasn't picking up her phone. I feel so bad for all of them. Yeah. But the truth is, is that it's really good news for you. I mean, now that Tomas confessed, you're completely in the clear. You must be so relieved. It's like it's the first day of the rest of your life. You did not just say that. Well, Dad, I'm sorry, but it's true. Everyone's always blaming you for everything, and now the police, they can't. You're officially completely in the clear. Yeah. I guess so. So... Why do you look totally miserable? <laughs> I mean, this is a lie, right? You know, like, like a way to find the real killer. Well, I know it's an ugly headline, but for once, Todd printed the truth. Yeah, what a guy. Come on, called me last night, Danny. And confessed. Well, it was a video call. I saw him. He wouldn't do that to us. Well, he felt like he needed to protect you and your mom from Victor. What? That's crazy. He would never have heard us. Well, he apparently... Tomas thought that we didn't know Victor. The real Victor and what he was capable of. Well, hey, good for you, Counselor, because guess what? I don't think your brother killed Victor either. You think Todd killed Victor? But why would he believe that? No, why would Uncle Tomas kill somebody that we love? He didn't, okay? He didn't, he didn't do that. You don't think Uncle Tomas did it? None of us want to believe it. Tell you, but look at the evidence. There's the gun. There's Kalmar's statement. Look, I'm the biggest defender of Tomas. But he confessed right to my face last night. Yeah, but what if there was a reason for that? Sweetheart, if you'd seen the look in his eyes, you would have known he was telling the truth. And I know that we all just, we all have to come to grips to what Tomas did. And we have to help your mom come to grips with it, too. Is that what you want? Do you want Victor's killer brought to justice? Of course I do. Do you want your brother brought home safely? Then I suggest you don't tell anyone about this. Mom? Listen to Blair, sweetheart. Mom, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. I just don't want to believe this about my brother. None of us want to believe it. God, I'm so glad that Todd was there. I just can't wrap my brain around the fact that I made a huge mistake with yet another man again like you said I, I just feel awful for Blair and for Taya I didn't mean for any of this to happen dad it's not your fault but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it so y you sent me a text that said LWST exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point and I, I don't I don't know what that means it means a lawsuit I'm being sued who would sue you this completely sleazy music producer named Rick Powers. Tomas's stupid son signed a contract with him, so now Rick owns the rights to all of my music. And the only way he thinks that he can sell my music is by turning me into a skank that would sleep with my Whoa, sister's boyfriend. wait a minute. What? It's extremely disgusting, and when we told him to get lost, he tripped on the way out and fell and fell again, and... Yeah, now he's in the hospital, in traction. Great. So a sleazy music producer fell and then fell again, and now he's in traction? Why is he suing you? And Danny, and Nate, and James. Dad, uh, he's suing me for hospital bills and pain and suffering. Sounds like he's just after all your money. I really need your help, Dad. And I couldn't ask Taya, not now. Not when she just found out that her brother killed her husband. It's the last thing she needs. You wanted to tell me that you murdered someone? Excuse me. Yeah, so, um... 
Todd showed up right after Domas confessed. How did that happen? Well, he had a mock-up that I wanted him to run on the front page. Uh, what was it? Well, it, I offered a reward for, you know, Tomas's whereabouts. And I asked Todd if he would run it on the front page for me. I thought, well, you know, that'd be a really good way maybe to, to bring Tomas home. And uh, Todd was willing to help? Yeah. I, mean, I think that's amazing, considering that he was actually... He was going to let Todd take the fall for Victor's murder. Actually, you know what? Todd's been great about all of this. I think we have you to thank for that. Maybe you're right. Maybe we shouldn't bother Taya with this lawsuit thing. What should I do? Nothing. I'll take care of it. Dad, Rick is already in traction. Violence is not the answer. Oh, come on. I'll make sure nobody gets hurt too bad. And also make sure that nobody gets sued. What's the plan? The less you know about it, the better. Okay, that's a little disconcerting, but I appreciate it. Hey, Thank you. I'm a dad. That's what we do, right? <laughs> no, it's, it's really nice to have you back. I've been back for a while, Stuart. But it's almost like I didn't believe it. So now that you're not going to jail, it's like you really are back. Yeah, and I'm not going anywhere, so you, you should probably get used to it. Okay, I gotta go. Um, I'm supposed to pick out Christmas trees Where are you Mom. Going? Oh, wait, that sounds great. I'm gonna come with you. What? I don't think that's a good idea. How am I responsible for what Todd's doing? Well, because you defended Todd. When everybody else was sure that he had killed Victor, you made sure that he walked. And you know what? I think that that gave him faith that people trusted him, and in turn, he could trust other people. Well, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sweetheart, I'm just... I'm in shock. Uh, I really can't... You know, Todd was in shock, too. He knew that... I mean, he was really sorry. He knew that the two of you were the ones that were going to have to suffer the most. You know? Shut up, Larry. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, okay? What do you bet Matthew has me? Don't I know, Taya? What's, what's the matter with you? Nothing, nothing, okay? Nothing. No, you, you're, you're jumpy. You've been jumpy since last night. Before she even found out about all of this stuff. You got jumpy when you walked into Dorian's and saw me with Todd. What do you want me to say, Blair? I see Todd, I want to throttle him. Why? Because he has everything. He has everything back, and Victor's dead. How do you think that makes me feel, huh? Look, I'm so sorry. I wasn't okay. even thinking. No, just, I, just, I, okay, please just don't. I. All right? I'm, you mean me? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go be by myself. I'm sorry, okay? All right. What's going on with her? I mean, you think this is all about Tomas? Why is she so mad at Todd? Wait, you were... Why can't I come with you? I just don't think it's a good idea for you to foist yourself on Mom. Much as I'd love to foist your mom... I'm only talking about getting a Christmas tree here with my family. You pay people to get your Christmas trees. Yeah, where's the fun in that? Dad, I know what you're doing. Oh, really? What is it that I'm doing? I know how you feel about Mom, and you have fallen back in love with her. Star? No, no, no. You don't have to answer me. I already know that it's true. But you didn't tell her when you had the chance, which is expected. Guys are dense about that stuff. Right. So now I'm just another dense guy. You don't have to be. If you love someone, don't play games. Just say it. I told you. You get so smart. Good jeans. Don't change the subject. You let mom slip through your fingers. Why didn't you say something when you had the chance? Um, oh, no, I blew it. I blew it. Yeah, you did. And now mom chose Tomas. No, <laughs> Tomas is out of the picture. Tomas is no Moss. That's funny. You don't think that's funny? I think that's funny. You think you could just move right in? Well, yeah. I mean, what? No, that's that's a bad idea. Yes, it's a bad idea. Oh, my God, Dad, it's too soon. But I don't want to miss my shot again. It's not like she's going out speed dating. Dad, God, if, if you move in too fast while Mom is still trying to get over Tomas, and you're going to blow it again. No, I can't blow it again. Not after everything I did to get her back. And what did she do? 
Oops, I don't. Dad, what did you do to get Mom back? I survived. That's what I did. When Irene shot me, I almost bled to death in that cabin. And your mom came and, and she saved me. She gave me the will to, to heal. Can you do that for her? Can you let her heal? Give her that time? Yeah, totally. No, seriously, Dad. I mean it. What? I, I can wait. I can. Since when? Since... I, well, I'm not sure, but I can. Dad. What? I know it's very hard for you to be patient, but can you please just try? Don't mess this up again. Why is this so important to you? Because I miss us all being a family. I really want you and Mom back together. Yeah, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? Hey, just wait, okay? Tomas is out of the picture, but you're not going anywhere. I gotta go. I gotta go. But thank you for taking care of Rick. Oh, no problem. Forget about him. And. Right, right, right. Remember? I got it. I'll try not to take things too quickly with your mom. Good. Doesn't mean I'm gonna let her go either. Was she this moody in the way before all this happened? Yeah, I guess. I just thought it was the hormones. Yeah, I think being pregnant makes everything a little bit more extreme, that's for sure. No, well, I'm not pregnant. I'm as upset about Tomas as my mom is. Oh, I know, sweetheart. I'm really angry about what he did to me, but it really infuriates me what he did to you and your mom. I loved him. What? <laughs> so did I. God, you know what? You know what it's like? It's like Eli. All over again. I thought that too. God, how did we let this happen again? I just, I don't know how we keep getting fooled. I know. <laughs> but you know what? There is one good thing that came out of it. At least we know who killed Victor now. What about tomorrow? No. You think? I didn't even know he existed last year. Now he's gone. No, oh my. Really? Had that happen a lot to you lately, haven't you? Yeah. New dads, new uncles. Then they're gone. At least I didn't get too attached to Tomas. Yeah, I just feel bad for my mom. Sure. Telling you to have a phone call wouldn't hurt, right? Hey, Blair. Just called to find out how you're doing. It's not too pushy, is it? Yeah, I feel bad for you, too. You and Tomas have gotten close. Danny, don't you worry about me. I've survived many, many men who have let me down, okay? But there is one little guy that I can't let down, and that's your brother Sam. I promised him I would get the biggest and prettiest tree because he wants to decorate today. So you want to go over there and help me pick it out? Um, thank you, but I, I think I'm just, I'm just gonna go get some hot chocolate or something. Okay. All right. Bye. Ah. Todd? Hey! Uh, it, it's, it's me. Uh, how's it going? Well, actually not so good. Yeah. Um, I I'm just checking in. Anything I can do? Make it all not true? I know you can't do that. Just kidding. But thanks for calling to check in on me, though. Appreciate it. Hey, what's an ex-husband for? You're a good one. Yeah. Okay, well, um, you know, if you need anything, just, just, just give me a call, okay? I will. Bye. Blair! One sec. Yeah, I'm here. There's something I need to tell you. 